In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus CuSO4. This is silver nitrate plus copper 2 sulfate. When we do net ionic equations, the first thing we have to do is balance the molecular equation. So I can see that I have two silver atoms here and just one here. So I'm going to put a 2 in front of the AgNO3. Balances the silvers. I have two nitrate ions, but I have two nitrate ions here, so that's good. I have a copper on each side, and I have a sulfate on each side. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now I can write the state for each substance. If you know your solubility rules, nitrates are very soluble. They'll split apart, dissolve in water into their ions. Copper sulfate, sulfates in general, also very soluble, except for silver sulfate, this is one of the exceptions, and you just need to either memorize that or be able to look it up on a solubility chart. Ag2SO4 is insoluble. That means it won't dissolve. It'll be a solid. When these react, it falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So this is a precipitation reaction as well. Nitrates, like we said, very soluble. This is going to be AQ. So we have the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. Silver is always going to be 1 plus, and this whole nitrate ion is 1 minus. Good one to remember. So we'll have two of these Ag plus ions, two silver ions, and I won't write the states. Let's do that at the end. And then two nitrate ions, that NO3 minus. For the copper, it's a transition metal, so we don't know its charge, but we do know the sulfate. That's always 2 minus for the whole thing. So the copper is going to be 2 plus. So we'll have Cu2 plus, that's the copper 2 ion, plus that sulfate ion, SO4, 2 minus. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids up in net ionic equations, so we just have Ag2SO4. We're going to keep that together. Plus, we said nitrate was 1 minus. This is going to be 2 plus the copper 2 ion. And we have two nitrate ions, just like we have in the reactants. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we're going to cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. So I see that I have in the reactants two nitrates here in the reactants. In the products, I also have two nitrate ions. These are spectator ions. We can cross those out. I have copper 2 ion. I also have that in the products. That's a spectator ion. Cross it out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation here for AgNO3 plus CuSO4. Let me clean this up. We'll write the states in and have the net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation or silver nitrate plus copper 2 sulfate. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have 2 times 1 plus. This is 2 plus and a 2 minus. Net charge is 0. Over here in the products, this is neutral, so net charge is 0. That's balanced. And the atoms, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus CuSO4. Thanks for watching.